So we're here at our favorite lumber store. We're gonna buy some lumber from here that's wrapped in plastic. We're gonna bring it back to our shop and then open it up and find out what happens to it over a few days. We're also gonna compare prices for you and... Get in and get out quietly, I hope. <laughs> Good thing I know this store at the back of my hand. Okay, I said I know the story like the back of my hand, but I don't. Approximately 10 hours later. Here's our, here's our ticket. We did it without getting kicked out. Especially with the crazy camera guy running around like crazy. We did it, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Now, I guess tomorrow we're going to bring it to we're the gonna, shop. We're going to find out what happens once we unwrap it in the plastic. I was thinking 70 bucks for three. The price five will five be right here. Yeah. All right, see you tomorrow. Well, Kyle, it's the next day. Yeah, we and went to. Right over there. We've got the lumber. So we're gonna find out what the lumber that's wrapped in plastic that's supposedly kiln dried. I mean, it looks nice right now. All right, here we go. I got a knife over here if you need it. I'm gonna need it. It's all wrapped in plastic. Check it out. A little bit bent already. Well, I mean, boards aren't perfect. Yeah, it is lumber. I feel like they were straight last night. This is looking already kind of warped. We'll see what happens after it gets a few days to acclimate to a dry environment. Yeah. While I got the man finally pinned down, we're gonna film the reveal of what happened to these boards after she would have five days. Left these where they were. There you go. Get a shot of them. What do they look like, Kyle? Ooh, they are moved a little bit. That one is the one on the right, especially. Holy moly! I mean, you can see they definitely move some. Lumber doesn't usually come perfectly straight. Nothing's perfect, but if you see that they're moving. Well, that's a sign that they're not dried down all the way. You buy this lumber, you go and you build a nice chair or table or whatever you're going to build with it, right? And then come back a week or two later and shrink and it's cracked open and doesn't look good anymore. And uh, do you have the receipt for that? Ah, uh, somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, oh you want to see the receipt? Well, I see how much it cost. I want effort into this video is what I want. Here they are! Here's the board! Let's look at them. There you go. Now we're now we're on the right track. Yeah, right. Oh, you must just film anything now. Let's just film anything. Where where did you did you put the receipt in there? Sixty-eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. So three of them at twenty-two ninety-nine each. And this is how much with tax you'd pay for all three. You'd be paying more than twice as much at the big box stores. Man, they get you there. But they wrapped in plastic. In conclusion, I'd like I think that even though it moved a little bit, it still stayed the same. But you're paying twice as much. Then move some. It's probably going to move a little more. Like I said, you build something with it, you're going to have problems. Probably the absolute fastest I can get red oak dried down properly is three months. They do it in a matter of two or three weeks. Put it in the kiln, cook it up super fast, dry it out and get it out really fast. I mean, they move product. It's kind of like, it's kind of like uh, fast food. It's uh, hot and delicious. It's right in front of you, but it's not good for you. Click here to subscribe. And click here to watch the next video.